Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here at Zach's Traders Cafe for Wednesday the 27th of March. Starting off with the FTSE 100, which has uh, becalmed uh, either the side of the 7900 level, which obviously compared to a couple of months ago is a party, but we're still not through the 8000 level. We've got a resistance line projection from uh, back in May last year, heading for 8020. That's our near-term target over the next couple of weeks, maybe. Otherwise, on the downside, below 7860, which is the top of the old August trend channel, then there's a risk of 7790. But... Uh, going nowhere fast as usual with this market. The best interpretation is that uh, we've got the 50 and 200 day lines rising and uh, this consolidation that we have at the moment is a, a flag or a pennant, a mid-move consolidation ahead of a push to the upside, which would give much more than 8,100. Moving along to the DAX, uh, which is a proper market, and here you can see heading for the stars still, uh, 18,400, near the top of that rising trend channel from uh, back in October, 18,700. We were looking for that by the end of next month. It looks like we could even get that uh, possibly around the turn of this month. Um, but uh, otherwise, on the downside, not really expecting anything lower than 18,000 now. The old target there, 17,900, uh, has already become support uh, for this particular market. Moving along to the Dow, and uh, here we've got uh, consolidation within the rising trend channel. We're near the floor of the channel, the floor there around 39,100. Above that, our initial target there is that September resistance line, 40,400. And best case, by the end of next month, up to 41,300, which obviously seems rather a long way, way at the moment. But we've had RSI bounces off the neutral 50 level. Uh, looks well supported here. The worst case on the downside at the moment would be seen to be around the 50-day moving average, 38,600. Moving on to Bitcoin, which uh, had a, an LSE boost, I think, during the week uh, here. Uh, still holding around the 70,000 level, which is good because that means that uh, old resistance, the old 2017 resistance, 68,000 has now become new support. Looking for the top of that rising trend channel from January at 81,000 plus by the end of next month, obviously right in time for the halving. On the downside, not expecting anything worse now than the 50-day line, currently just shy of 60,000. Moving on to gold, and uh, here there's been a bit of uh, volatility. We had that uh, spike towards uh, the uh, 2250 area, but uh, consolidating well now, really at the top of that old uh, trend channel from back in March last year, so 2200, uh, the level there. Recent support around 2180, and above 2180 now, looking for 2280, which is the uh, July resistance line projection, in fact, 2270 to 2280 by the end of next month. Moving on to the stocks, and not that many to look at today. Allergy Therapeutics is the first one on the list, and here, rising trend channel base after that massive uh, gap to the downside, looking for um, around the three and three quarter pence level while we're above the 50 day line at two and a half pence. The gap higher today, a nice touch for the bulls. On to the very poetically named Caspian Sunrise, and uh, here, uh, the shares heading towards the top of that broadening triangle there from back in September. That's around 4.3 pence. Looking for that over the next couple of weeks, especially after the uh, break of that uh, day, the gap up day that we had uh, last week, or perhaps rather at the beginning of this week. So the top of that uh, resistance there around uh, 3.7 pence and above that 4.4, 4.3, that kind of thing, hopefully over the next couple of weeks. The uh, bear trap gap reversal, the big signal there, big impressive signal there, echoing the gap down that we had back in June. Moving on to stock which I don't normally cover, but uh, just uh, actually something of a lap of honour in the sense that uh, I was looking for the uh, triangle to be hit there, the top of that triangle to be hit there from June, around the uh, £2.15 level. I think we're just sort of close to that. I think the high just shy of that today. Um, looking for, I suppose, a new leg to the upside, which is uh, uh, would be interesting given that we already had three gaps to the upside here. The favoured destination now, the upper parallel of that resistance line as high as 260 as soon as the end of next month. Ideally, we stay on the right side of the top of the gap there, 195. On to a former uh, Bulletin Board Hero winner, which uh, was uh, and is uh, GCM Resources. Here we're finding support around or just around the 7 pence area, wanting to see a break of 10 pence to give us a move up to as high as 15 pence on the top of that rising November trend channel. That could happen as soon as the end of next month. On to uh, a stock which doesn't get much uh, airplay here or anywhere else, uh, which is intuitive, but uh, uh, here we've got a rising trend channel after the unfilled gap to the upside uh, in uh, last month. 
and uh, the rising 50 day line suggests that we could easily hit the top of that channel at one pound 85 by the end of next month maybe not that easily but uh, uh, on that kind of time scale Itaconics is next and uh, here you can see that uh, looks like we're in a decent mid move consolidation looking for the shares to now remain above uh, the 240 area and head up to three pounds by the end of next month which is the upper parallel of that uh, broadening triangle from back in June moving along to uh, Kazira and uh, here the picture is one of a uh, well, maybe hopefully the start of a turnaround. It's obviously been a rather uh, painful uh, journey in the recent past. Uh, the uh, reason for suggesting that we could have a turnaround here is the uh, nudging with the 50-day moving average that we've had around 0.44. If everything goes well, we get an end-of-day close above the 50-day line. Best-case scenario target here up to 0.75 by the end of May. Uh, initial target there obviously around 0.52, which was the uh, December-January support for this market. Everything really hinging on breaking back above that in a sustained way. On to Panthera, which um, is uh, still just sort of, I suppose, bumping along the 50-day line, that rising 50-day line. That's uh, the reason that we're relatively optimistic here. Want to see the shares break 7.5 pence and then take them up to 11 pence, perhaps as soon as the end of next month. On to Star, and uh, here a nice charting setup in the sense that uh, Got a rising trend channel base. We're nudging through the 200 day line at 10 pence above that, looking for 13 pence over the next few weeks. Uh, ideally, we stay on the right side of February resistance at 9 pence in the meantime. Uh, another stock which uh, I've uh, championed quite a few times here is uh, uh, Strategic Minerals. It looks like it's ready for a new leg to the upside. We had the bear trap gap reversal back in January, ricocheted off the 50 day moving average. Uh, that's around uh, 0.22 and above that we're looking for the uh, upper parallel of our ori original target there as high as 0.35 by the end of next month so basically about 0.22 looking for 0.35 on strategic on to the last two first one is super dry and uh, here horrible price action that we've had sort of full storms and everything else but just the first sign of some consolidation against a uh, at least a flat 50-day line that could take us back towards the uh, low 50s maybe sometime by mid-April, but uh, early days yet. Obviously, we don't want to see the shares on the wrong side of 20 pence. Finishing off with uh, one of our nice setups, uh, Symphony Environmental, where there was a bear trap gap reversal. We're now pushing through the 50-day line at 3.3 pence and looking to the 200-day line at 5.5 pence by the end of next month. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.